what's up guys my name is Danny Peter already know we're going to my channel y'all being able to see my head so tonight y'all it's gonna be a little night in my life adrian is currently in his room he's not asleep unfortunately but it's okay because he's gonna be asleep soon yeah i'm about to just take y'all through my night show y'all how i get ready for bed i just got home from work and y'all let me tell y'all this night has been so freaking just a lot like i was so ready to just come home start this video and get in bed but god had other plans and i'm gonna get into that later because it was just it's a whole story time basically right now what i'm about to do is i would just got caught in the rain too so my hair is extra fuzzy more fuzzy than it usually is so i'm about to use all my like gels and stuff and just tie my hair down and my thing and then i'm gonna get in the shower because i feel icky i need to get in the shower before i get in my bed so yeah so the two gels i'm finna be using is extreme styling gel and shine jam shower and feeling refreshed but now i gotta wash my face i'm about to go put a shirt on because i don't want to accidentally flash y'all or nothing like that but for my cleanser i use and i'm using all skin skirt products tonight this is like a professional skincare brand you're not gonna find it in stores and you have to go to a, like an actual esthetician to get it but tonight i'm using the skin script raspberry refining cleanser Next, I'm just gonna exfoliate my face. So again, Skin Script products. I'm using their Raspberry Refining Scrub. Should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. So now I'm done exfoliating. So now I'm about to use a little mask. This mask is basically for deep cleaning. Um, it's not by Skin Script. It's by this brand called Repassage. I tried it one time. I don't like it, but you're only gonna see results if you're consistent enough with this. So I'm gonna just be consistent and see what I get. I'm gonna actually move y'all up here because that might be a better view. let this sit for about 10 15 minutes i'm gonna just go lay down because like i said y'all i'm tired i'm gonna come back take this off put moisturizer on and yeah that's the end of my skincare routine basically my juice on my shirt man and my lips look like they got chicken grease on it he got steam so for dinner tonight or um, i have leftovers from conky i ate so if you don't know i'm literally just getting home from work well not just getting home but you know what i mean this is adrian's food adrian my mom and my aunt they went to conky this morning without me because y'all i love Conky. It's like the Benihana's of North Carolina. Y'all, I tried Benihana's and it's really not good. Like, I feel like it's just overhyped and I don't know. I don't know. But let me tell y'all what happened. So, got off of work. Everybody left. And I don't know if God was saving me from something or what, but he just did not want me to go home right after work. I get in my car, try to crank it. It does not work. And I'm just like, <laughs> something must be playing with me because no. So I try and crank it again. Of course, it still doesn't work. And so I'm just like, Lord, what am I about to do? Everybody that was at my job with me already left. I'm in a dark parking lot by myself. 
So of course, you know, the first thing I do is I call my mommy. Mind y'all, it was pouring rain. It was already like eight o'clock. It was like, yeah, it was like eight o'clock. Pitch black outside, dark parking lot. It was raining hard. So I get I get my bag, I get my keys, and I just go straight back into my job because what do I look like sitting out there and end up on an episode of True Crime? Like, no ma'am. So I sat in my job until my mom came, which was maybe about 30 minutes later. So I sat in there. She ended up coming and she ended up helping me get a jump. But y'all, it was just too much because I was so ready to go home and it was raining i was cold i didn't even have a jacket because i didn't think that nothing like that would happen but now that taught me to always have a jacket in my car i ended up getting a jump from my mom and i ended up going home but y'all it was raining so hard like it was scary driving home i live about 20 minutes away from my job i live about 20 minutes away from my job i have to get on the highway so driving home was just a lot because it was raining hard it was dark it was fogging and i was scared because my car just had something wrong like my car is pretty old i have a 20 year old car but i've never had no issues with it like it's never not turned on it's never had any like no issues no issues i've never had an issue with my car this was like the first real issue so like i was scared i didn't want to drive fast because one i was scared of like hydroplaning and crashing or whatever when i end up making it home it was just i don't know i'm just tired but i'm glad i'm home i'm glad thankful for my mom she was able to come through and you know give me a jump so i could get home but never again i don't want that ever happening and y'all this video almost didn't happen because i was like i had wrote out plans like for me to do and like i was really thinking like you know what i'm just want to go home and go to bed but you know here i am i'm still making the video i'm still hoping to post it on time because that was one of my new year's resolutions i really want to like really put my energy back into youtube because okay y'all i'm finna just tell y'all why i stopped posting because i don't even know if y'all are wondering for real but i just i just want to go ahead and let it out and share it because i mean it's not really a big reason i mean it is to me but maybe not to y'all i don't know but basically when i was posting before you know all my content was geared towards me being a mom being a teen mom, sharing my story. One, I felt like it got to the point where I was a little bit oversharing. Like when I started talking about Adrian's dad and all that, like I really, well, okay, I really wasn't like, I wasn't sharing too much business, but even then again, just even talking about his dad, like I didn't want that for my channel. So any, most of those videos are already, already deleted. Secondly, I just wanted to go in a whole different direction for my channel. You know what I mean? Like I didn't want, for all my videos to be talking about me being a teen mom like i think partially covid and just some other things it really helped me find myself and make me separate myself and me as a mom you know what i mean and i feel like most moms can relate to that like once you become a mom like it does drain you and take a lot out of you where you do kind of lose yourself after graduating high school and getting some not of course i'm not a regular teenager but getting some moments to build like a regular teenager i really felt like over this past year i really found myself and i'm more comfortable with myself and i don't think of myself as just a teen mom or just a mom like i have my own my own own person y'all might have felt like that before but of course i didn't because i was just dealing with so much but yeah um what else i was just so freaking busy like between school work adrian like y'all i was overwhelmed i was so just just too much was going on and then also like anytime i did make a video either i wouldn't like the video because i didn't like my energy in it or i just would never get around to editing what i really want to work on this year because like y'all know it's 2022 i don't know when i'm gonna post this i'm gonna try and post this this week so hopefully it's still within the first week of 2022 but i really want to work on being consistent and being you know being consistent following my dreams because i have a lot of goals that i want to reach this year i want this year to be my year of change for good like of course the past few years i've been going through a lot of changes and that's kind of another reason why i haven't been posting but i've been going through a lot of changes but this year i really want to have a change for the better if you don't know i'm also in esthetician school like one of my goals is to finish school i want to start and learn how to do lashes plus i have a job lined up for me to work once i get out of school plus i want to just connect with more of y'all on here and i'm gonna sit here and eat because at this point my food getting cold talking to y'all but
but i just finished eating and now i'm about to open some packages i got a long time ago i have a bad habit of not opening packages especially when i'm not waiting on it like i'm not i don't need it anytime soon and if i already know what's in there so about a couple days ago i had just got my birthday outfit from sheen if you don't know y'all my birthday is next wednesday on january 11th mark your calendar i'm gonna be 19. i ordered my birthday outfit i want to say about two weeks ago and it came in like a week so it actually moved pretty fast and i literally ordered the whole thing from sheen but i just hope it works out because if not i don't know what i'm gonna do so shoes i want to wear yet if it's warm it depends because y'all know how this winter's been if you've been in north carolina you know this winter has been very much felt like a spring but it depends i might wear some sandals i have no idea i have no shoes to wear with that my event which is what i'm wearing this to is on the 8th so i got a couple days but i'm gonna figure it out oh this is cute little pink bead bracelet this is cute so yeah that's all i got in my sheen package and what i'm wearing for my birthday i'm so glad it came in time because i was low-key worried that i it would be like january 7th and it's still not here but luckily it came like it came like december 30th so it was good all right guys that's all for this video i hope you enjoy make sure you guys like this video comment subscribe to my channels you can follow all of my socials right here and that's pretty much it. Bye guys, I'll see you on the next video.